ECP has been calling upon PTI to hold its intra-party elections since 24th May 2021. At that time, PTI was in the federal government and in some provinces. Therefore, it cannot be stated that ECP was victimizing PTI. Nonetheless, we wanted to satisfy ourselves that the ECP had not acted malefide or for ulterior reason or that PTI was discriminated against. It transpired that ECP had passed orders against 13 other registered political parties which were far more severe than the order passed against PTI. One such case of all Pakistan Muslim League came before this court on 12 January 2024 and the order of the ECP delisting the said political party was upheld. ECP wanted to ensure that PTI holds intra-party elections. The mere production of a certificate stating that such elections were held would not suffice to establish that intra-party elections had been held when a challenge was thrown to such an assertion. Nor, in our opinion, should ECP concern itself with minor irregularities in the holding of a political party's elections. However, in the instant case, not even prima facie evidence was produced to show that a semblance of elections had been held. 14 PTI members with stated credentials had complained to ECP that elections had not been held. These complaints were brushed aside in the writ petition by simply asserting that they were not members of PTI and thus not entitled to continue test elections. But this bare denial was insufficient, particularly when they had credibly established their long association with PTI.